The topic of uh, what I want to touch on today on this uh, keynote is on uh, the use of uh, wearable sensors and uh, smartphones to assess uh, chronic disease and uh, basically monitor longitudinal symptom severity. So chronic disorders, uh, including mental disorders and uh, post-traumatic stress disorder and uh, stroke. Uh, essentially, we, um, we run in the, we're in this uh, area where uh, essentially there is no specific way to really monitor what's happening uh, long-term in those diseases. And uh, frequently we tend to rely on subjective uh, expertise. A large part of my work is on trying to objectify this uh, kind of assessment with uh, wearable sensors and uh, smartphones, uh, as we're going to see um, further on. So the vision and the, the work we tend to do in uh, my group is essentially trying to capitalize on uh, the useful sensors and the different uh, resources you can uh, uh, access and essentially harness the data we can collect from a device like uh, smartwatches, like the one I'm wearing on. And uh, uh, if you were to look on my desk, you're going to see a different device and different brands I'm testing out. Uh, smartphones, uh, voice is a key part of uh, my work. Um, all these uh, Fitbits and uh, different devices, uh, EEGs and uh, wearable devices for trying to capture full um, signals, for example, that uh, you have on the brain. And of course, uh, classical uh, assessments and reports, both from uh, the patients themselves, for example, the patient reported the outcome measures, and also clinical reports. And ultimately, the end goal is, of course, to address unmet clinical needs. So finding some way that uh, we can holistically provide this information back to the experts and uh, help them make uh, better informed decisions. The last part of my work uh, and the work we do in uh, my research group is uh, both on the terms of uh, uh, the assessment of uh, certain disorders and in particular about uh, monitoring. So we try in a sense to democratize uh, healthcare and we try to develop tools that are really affordable. Um, they facilitate the capturing of uh, the data and uh, the further processing uh, in a passive way. And uh, the hope is that uh, we're going to deliver tools that uh, will scale massively both in terms for uh, early assessment and also for the monitoring of uh, chronic disorders. So the first topic uh, I want to touch on is on uh, mental health uh, telemonitoring. And uh, this is a project that we set up a couple of years ago, so it started in uh, 2013 um, in Oxford, where I was based at the time. And uh, that, that was called uh, the AMOS project. So uh, what we tried to do was essentially finding some way to assess the mental health, particularly in people with uh, bipolar disorders. So the problem with the uh, current assessment from, uh, for those that have some uh, mental disorder is that, uh, first of all, they have to physically go into the clinic. So they have to be physically assessed by the experts uh, and if, if 